Hey everybody, today we've been setting up to do a mud tire comparison video and boy do we have a lineup for you today. We have got all the good stuff, all the big tires, and we're going to talk about them and what always helps me every time that I'm shopping around for mud tires is to just simply see them out side by side and that helps a lot. We have some mud tires here today that some of you have probably never heard of and uh, some that you've heard of for many many years so we're going to get to talking about them uh, today we're primarily focusing on the 28 inch tire range but we're actually here at main street cycle and they can get you just about any size that is made in any of these tires and they have a ton of inventory here on site but you can also uh, call and order anything you want so uh, let's get right to it we're going to start out with the zilla and uh, david david's going to help us out today and david's going to roll out this zilla this tire here we've known it for a long time we've we've ran them on many different machines side by sides atvs and as you already know it is the lightest tire in this lineup and uh, it's actually with a 28 by 9 by 14 this tire weighs around 23 pounds uh, this tire has a great uh, spacing uh, you can man you can run these on a honda and even even a honda can break these dudes over spin them and clear them out clean them out and uh, they'll do great on any any machine this hands down is uh, going to be the easiest tire for your machine uh, you're less likely to break axles you're less likely to uh, just put your machine in a bind this is the way to go if you want a good aggressive tire that's not over the top and still just as light uh, almost as light as some of your stock oem tire and rim setups so that's the the maxis zilla we'll move on to the next one and again remember we're trying to keep it around the 28 inch category just for this video so you can see them side by side but uh, this one here is actually a itp cryptic and i'm going to go ahead and say it it's my favorite all around mud tire uh, that this is actually a 30 by 9 by 14. this comes stock on your can-am xmr's uh lineup most most of them are going to come with this size 30 by 9 by 14 and it runs just a little over uh, somewhere between 28 and a half to 29 inches uh, we didn't have a 28 on hand but we have some on the way here at main street cycle so anyways you can kind of get an idea compared to the other tires but the itp cryptid it's been around for a while now and uh, it's a great overall tire what i love about it is instead of digging down especially in the real soft stuff even when you get on the, on the river or sand bank or anything like that these tires are going to tend to paddle you through and push you through instead of digging down which uh listen i don't care what tire you pick out of all these tires once you dig down and frame out you ain't going nowhere most of the time until you hook a winch to it. So you want a tire that's gonna paddle you and push you through, and uh, this tire will get the job done. The ITP Cryptid. This 30 by nine is 41 pounds. So it's a little heavier, a lot heavier than the Zilla. Like I said, I recommend that dude right there, uh, the Zilla, especially on your ATVs. That's a great uh, choice. It's not gonna be too much for your four wheeler and a lot less stress on it but the itp cryptid if you want more aggressive that's the tire to go with in my opinion up next i am currently running the tire that we're about to roll out now on my c force 800 uh, as you know the cryptid back there i ran a 30 by 10 on my last mud setup for my c force 800 the silver one and uh, i just wanted to try something different so i'm trying out these xm 310s this is a 28 by nine and a half by 14 and it is 36 pounds so it is a little lighter but now keep in mind that is a 30 by nine 
cryptid at 41 pounds. This is 36 pounds. The, both of these tires, the, the XM310 and the, uh, the cryptid there, both actually ride smooth on a four-wheeler or side-by-side, -side, smooth for what it is. Now, by no means is it an all-terrain smooth, but it rides pretty smooth for what they are. The, the Crypt is going to give you a little smoother ride on hard pack. And then this one is actually for as aggressive as it looks, it rides pretty smooth on hard pack trails. So now in the mud, it cleans out. You got tons and tons of grip here on your tread, uh, a lot of spacing, a lot of height, and it leaves room to sling some mud. So that's the XM310. And David, if you'll leave that one kind of out because this tire that you're about to roll out, David, is a new tire or relatively new for System 3. And it is the XT400. Now it was supposed to be a hybrid or a mid range tire for the, remember they had the XT300s for a while. They actually, I believe are discontinuing those uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I believe that is true. So here's your most extreme mud tire, and then they've come out with the XT400s. You can get this particular tire in a huge range of sizes, so big tires all the way down to little ones. But I wanted you to be able to see these tires up next to each other. You're going to get a, a little bit smoother ride out of the XT400s because they're closer. The loads are not as tall and they're a little closer together, but this is like a, man, the compound and the, the stiffness is a lot stiffer, it feels like, than these XM310s. And that goes to show when you go to weigh them. The, X, uh, the XT400 here that we have is a, a 28 by 10 by 14 and it is 43 pounds. So it is a few pounds heavier than the than the xm 310s but it is a good choice good for you know uh, especially your side by sides that are a lot heavier and can handle a bigger heavier tire uh, this is a good option so there it is guys system 3 xm 310 and the xt 400 so let's move on to another tire the itp mega mayhem now this tire used to be a pretty popular tire uh, back when it first come out. It is not as popular anymore, um, but it, 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 it performs relatively good uh, so far uh, up to this point. I would pick any of the previous tires over this one, uh, especially I would pick a Zilla over this tire any day. Uh, it's not as, this tire here, the Mega Mayhem, is uh, much more aggressive than the Zilla, but this tire is heavier than the Zilla, and, uh, but it cleans out good. Uh, it, it doesn't ride very well. It's pretty, pretty, pretty rough ride, but it does clean out, and uh, it, as far as tread life and wear over time, uh, I mean, as long as you stay off hard pack stuff and you just strictly use these in the mud and the softer trails and terrain, these will last you a good little bit. But good tire from ITP, uh, been around for a long time. So uh, in the comment section, tell me if you've liked these tires, if you've ever run them before. Pretty good tire, looks good, uh, and it weighs 32 pounds. Up next, we have uh, a tire, a mud tire from AMS. This tire is uh, very similar to the Terminator tire. Uh, the tread pattern is a lot like the Terminators. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great looking tire, very aggressive. Uh, you can see it's, it's uh, got ability to clean out if you can turn these big jokers. Good looking tire. If you like the Terminator style tire, this would be a great option for you if you're wanting to try something different. And guess what? It only weighs 41 pounds. So to put that in perspective, it's lighter than the XT400 and uh, it's right there at the same size, same weight as the ITP Cryptid 30 by nine. So this is a 28 by 10 and a good looking tire. I haven't personally ran these yet, 
but if you know anything about the terminators these look pretty similar so if you like the performance of a terminator this would be a good tire for you to try out on your next selection that's ams mud evil and it is 41 pounds for a 28 by 10 by 14. up next another popular tire is a sti outback max very similar to a itp cryptid uh, the lugs are are th stiffer um, and these come in a very wide range of sizes as well it's got good spacing i think it's a little bit closer together than a itp cryptid but those i would compare uh, very very similar so it's your preference there i personally would choose the itp cryptids over the outback max but you know let me know what you think have you tried these against the cryptids let me know in the comment section maybe that will help somebody that is in the market right now for a tire like this but it weighs 41 pounds so it weighs this the 28 by 10 i'm sorry this is 28 by nine and a half by 14 outback max and uh, it weighs the same as a 30 by 9 itp cryptid 41 pounds so let's move on to the next one and this is a tire i don't think many of you have seen before but uh, we carry them here at main street cycle it is a tire made by moose and it is a aggro uh, tire and it is 40 pounds for a 28 by 10 by 14. This is also a really good looking tire. I like the side lugs on it and the design. Awesome tire. It looks like it's gonna clean out well. It's it's pretty similar as well as uh, the, the tire we looked at a while ago, the AMS Mud Evil tire. But uh, this tire looks pretty awesome. I'd be willing to try these out. Looks good. Uh, let me know if you've ever ran these on your machine down in the comment section. But we have these here. If you like these tires and want to try them out, you can order these from Main Street Cycle. So that's 40 pounds for a 28 by 10 by 14. Now, the big dogs. So you can't have a mud tire comparison without BKTs, Moto Havocs, and Outlaws, right? So we have right here a 31 inch BKT. You can get all kinds of different sizes in these, especially if you're a guy that likes to run some big rims uh, you can run these with some stylish msa wheels or fuel wheels or sti wheels we've got all of those here as well even system threes but uh dave if you'll roll those out we don't have weights on these but they are pretty heavy uh i mean they are big tires so if you want the biggest tire for some big rims you got the BKT option. This is a 31. They measure uh, really close to true to size as well as the Moto Havocs there. Show them the Moto Havocs, David. You can just set that to the side. And then uh, that's the BKT AT tire. And then we got the Moto Havocs in a 31. And I like these out of the three, the Outlaw 3, the Moto Havoc, and the BKT. The Moto Havoc is going to give you the smoothest ride because of this check, uh, this check mark print, uh, the tread here. You have more contact with the ground at all times and therefore giving you a better, uh, smoother ride. As well as with this check mark, you get some reverse traction as well. Uh, so it's a nice style, it looks awesome and it actually performs well. I've ran these on a Can-Am Defender before. So, uh, great tire as well. And then David, we got the Outlaw 3. I'm gonna say that is, the Outlaw 3 is the heaviest tire out of these options. It, uh, it looks good. You know Outlaw, they make great tires. If you're a mud rider, Outlaw makes some good stuff. Of course, we don't have the Outlaw 2s or the OG Outlaws in this video. I've had them in a previous video if you want to check that out, but those are great tires as well. So, as you can see, we've got a vast uh, arrangement of different tires, all terrains, mud tires, all kinds of stuff, and wheels with bolt patterns for every manufacturer. So, if you're in the market for some mud tires 
and some rims or just tires, just rims. Main Street Cycle is the place to contact. If you can make the drive, this would be the place to go if you want some. Now before we, I show you some of that, uh, let me tell you my, my top picks. If I had to choose a mud tire for an ATV, but I didn't want to put too much on it, hands down, of course, I'm gonna go with the Zilla. I highly recommend the Maxxis Zilla. And it's just not too much for your machine. If you have a 400 or 500 or 600, it's just a good, good tire. And it performs well too. Not only is it light, it performs well. And then my next pick, uh, I've, you've seen me win mud competitions before. I've won mud races before. And this was the tire that I ran, except for I ran a 30 by 10 by 14 on my uh, my Seaforce 800, my 2020 model. This tire just gets the job done. Also, I mean, like I said, we have all these other options, but these two right here are gonna be my top picks overall, best tires. I'm testing these out now. Joel is testing these. We're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison of the System 3 mud tires. And uh, maybe one day we can also get these tested out as well. So great options. Tell me what your favorite is out of these options. What are you in the market for? Comment down in the comment section. And uh, maybe you might have some information more than what we presented here. And you can help some people out by leaving that down in the comment section. If you're in the market, we've got options here for you. All-terrain tires. We've got tons of rims and different sizes. I mean, I, I, we have some in overstock, which is out uh, in another building. We've got just so many options here that you can choose from. We've even got motorcycle tires. We've got more tires back there. If you are in driving distance to the Main Street Cycle, they got the best prices. Uh, in my opinion, I've searched, I've researched, I've dug around. They're hard to beat here at Main Street Cycle. Plus you can get them shipped to you. And you can get them financed as well. If you don't have all the money up front, you can get them financed and just make payments on them things and quit waiting. I know you want some tires, you want some rims, quit waiting. Uh, go to the Main Street Cycle website, fill out a finance application, and you can pick out some tires and rims. Guys, this is Dylan, one of the parts guys here, and he is one that you will probably be talking to if you contact Main Street Cycle for uh, anything. But if you're looking for tires and rims, what's the best option for a, a customer if they're looking for something? What should they do? I know that we don't have them listed on the website, and that's because we, uh, can you kind of tell them a few reasons why and then tell them the best route? Yeah. Uh, so the way the tire industry is right now, everything's always changing. Back orders are ridiculous. We can't keep up with back orders. And our website's still a work in progress. And by the time we got tires listed, they would vanish away and I wouldn't be able to even obtain them. So the best route would be to either call or text us at any time. Uh, if we're not here, we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Uh, or you could also look at the brands that we carry online we carry ITP, STI, AMS, MSA, EFX, Moose, System 3, along with some others. Kind of Google and find what you like. Hit us up, see, see if we've got them. If we don't have them, we'll uh, recommend something to you uh, and get you fixed up the best we can. Awesome, man, awesome. So yeah, tons of options, and they can get you a price quote on getting them shipped yeah. out to you. Like I said, you can't beat these prices here at Main Street Cycle. Definitely worth to check into if you are in the market for some tires and rims. So if you also, if you can drive here, we can get David or one of the guys out in the shop to mount up your tires and rims and they can get you fixed up. So, All right, so I'm gonna hush now. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless y'all and as always, remember to keep it real. And we'll see y'all in the next one.